Dorian, um, congrats on the win. Uh, Jock told us that at halftime the message was that he was kind of surprised that this team was up. What changed in that third quarter that allowed you guys to put up 42 points? Were you guys able to kind of capitalize on? Um, just giving them one shot. Um, they had 12 offensive rebounds that first half, and coach challenged us to, you know, um, to help to help big fella, to help Nick on the own glass because it's not a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And I know how good it feels to get four threes Oof. in a game. You, you said that the shot was coming. It was going to continue. You know, I just – you know, it, it feels good, though, man, especially when the whole team – uh, yelling at me when I turn down shots and not stay aggressive. So it feels good when you got guys who believe in you. So I appreciate them. For you personally on the other end of the court, um, when Atlanta started spacing the floor, uh, when the when Day Day's next rotation was kind of come around, they put you in mm -hmm. and said, okay, hey, play small ball five, do what you do. What was, I guess, their message from Jacques, from the rest of the coaching staff, on how they needed you to play to kind of change the game and the way they were picking you guys apart defensively? Um, you know, when I go to the five, uh, I just try to use it as an advantage, especially my energy. Um, you know, I can get up and down the court fast, and, you know, I can guard one through five. So it just gave them a different look. You know, um, they, they, they did a job tonight, but, you know, they were making some tough shots. And, you know, um, when they see me out there, they kind of don't ice it on me that much. So it just gave them a good look. A different look, Dorian. When you when you were playing against Mikhail with the Mavericks, and when he was on the Suns, did you envision a day where he'd be going off for forty two points like he did tonight? Nah, we talk about that all the time. <laughs> nah, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for him. You know, whatever he's doing, he need to keep doing. Don't change nothing. But uh, <laughs> you know, he was you know fifteen points you know a, a night. But you know, when you seeing him, you know. Scoring 42, it, it looked routine now, so I'm happy for him. Is it? Do you do you consider him kind of like the same player, just with an expanded role, or is it? Have you kind of seen him layer more things onto his game over the years? No, nah, he definitely finishing at the rim uh, more. Um, he he making making tough shots a little bit more. He, he, you know, he's showing his whole game, and um, you know, he do, he also doing a good job of you know, you know, telling me to get my confidence back, you know, because, again, we, I done played them a bunch of times, so they know what I can do. And, you know, it feels good when he's scoring 40, but he worried about me because I ain't, I ain't, you know, I ain't shooting how I want to. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. Doran, to kind of piggyback off that, I mean, at what point did you go from, you know, eyebrows raised over Mikhail scoring to just kind of shrugging it off like, oh, this is just the regular thing now? Um... Y'all yeah, see it. <laughs> I mean, he, he doing it on a nightly basis. He uh, he being consistent. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm happy for him. You know, he, he and he still don't don't lose his edge on the other end. So, you know, that that also you know is a plus. It's only about a week ago now. You guys had lost five in a row, fallen into seventh. Uh, things weren't looking great. How do you feel like you've responded since then? Um, even though we was losing, we felt like we was coming together, you know, as a team. You know, we, we haven't been in that many battles, you know, together, but we still learning each other, and we we figuring it out. We telling on ourselves. <laughs> Appreciate you.